I want to thank you for a lot of things. I want to thank you for urging people to consider the social impact of their investments and uh, to try not just to go for a quick rate of return if it's damaging to society, but instead to try to build a f future we can all share. But what does that mean now? Well, what's going to happen? How's, what do you think for the next six, seven months? How's Russia going to play into this? How's the pandemic going to play into this? It, it won't go away, and it won't kill us, apparently. <laughs> so where are we, and what do you think now? Well, Mr. President, thank you for inviting me here. It's, it's an honor to be here. Um, well, the next seven months, we're in a transition, and it's not going to be a pretty transition. Um, we have food insecurity worldwide, which is going to be creating more elevated prices. We have not seen all the increases that we, we ex should expect to see in food. Um, we have imbalances in energy right now in the short term. Um, and in, on top of that, we have the European government, the UK government, and the United States government uh, uh, doing quite a large amount of fiscal stimulus at a time when we're seeing record inflation. Um, there are many bad policies that got us there, um, but, we are, but we're living in this period of time now with really elevated inflation, high on insecurity. And I would say probably the most important thing that we're missing right now, and this is something that when I, over the last 34 years building BlackRock, we build BlackRock on the foundation of, of hope. Hope is... Uh, is missing in the world right now. Um, the polarization of ideas, the polarization of political opinions has, has really created more and more confusion. Um, and there's just growing fear. And that growing fear is showing up in so many areas.